Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about profiling your baits. I, I, I seriously think it's one of the most important things in bass fishing is to profile your baits. There's a lot of times when, well I'm going to do a couple examples, one about plastics and one about cranks, but profiling can mean the difference between catching and not catching. And profiling trump size and what i mean by that is once you find the profile they want going a little bit bigger a little bit smaller doesn't really seem to matter if they're on that profile they're going to hit that profile now what do i mean by profile well i'm going to start out by looking at all the baits we offer for drop shotting show you this picture and i'm going to start from left to right first off you have our drop and stick and you have our blade worm and you have our flipping slash dropping bug. Then you have our spade tail drop and swim bait. Then you have our drop and grub. Now when you look at those baits, all of them, they're similar in size, but all of them have a totally different profile. And sometimes, and when we were developing, developing them and fishing them in here, they wanted one of those baits over all the rest. I mean, I'm totally serious. I fish this pond a lot, probably over 250 days a year. And if they want the drop and stick, they want the drop and stick. That profile, that short, it's kind of stiff, just the way it looked on drop shot. If they want the blade worm, they want the blade worm. If they want the flipping bug or dropping bug, they wanted that. If they wanted the swim bait, they were that specific. A lot of people don't really think about that. They might have a profile on and they're catching a few fish on that profile and then they go to maybe some other bait companies lures but they're basically the same profile they might be a little bit bigger a little bit smaller but they're the same profile you gotta totally switch the profile and i have another example of with cranks a friend of mine jason uh he'd never fish lopez lake he was a margarita guy this one was in san Luis, and and this example actually led to our old show, Ratlin Lopez. Um, took him out, he wanted to get used to it. We're gonna be partners, we're gonna be fishing that lake. He hadn't fished it. Uh, I was on a shallow crank bite. Not a good bite, but getting some fish. I said, yeah, I'm fishing four to six feet on the shallow crank. Fish something within that range, but fish something different. Fishing along for a while, suddenly he catches a good keeper. I'm like, wow, where'd you get that? He's like, oh, I threw on the rattle trap. I'm like, oh, okay. We go a little bit further, he catches another good keeper. I still haven't got anything. I'm like, really? Well, this continued everywhere I took him, that I was catching a few fish here and there on the shallow running crank, and he was catching on the rattle trap. They just, I mean, my crank, it was a, a bandit or a norm at the time, small, kind of round with, you know, square bill, run at the same speed and everything, same damp, four to six feet. They wanted the profile of the rattle trap, something flatter, something thinner, with a tighter wobble, and it made all the difference. So, I'm telling you, you need to start profiling your baits. And that's kind of why with CCB Custom Baits, that's why we sort of make our baits the way we do. These four or five dropping, we're only doing one size. Because if they're on that bite, that size is the one we found on average, they'll usually bite 80% of the time. We go a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, they'll still hit it, but it's still the same amount. So why have all those other baits that you might get confused with when you can just go with one style and one profile for that bait? And same thing goes for all the rest of them, the flipping bug, the dropping bug, the blade worm. The, the, I mean, one size, that's all you need. We're taking that through all the baits we produce. Spinner baits, it's a double blade, one size. Single blade in a certain weight, one size. Single blade in another size, one size. Because profiling is that important. And, I mean, trust me, it's just, for some reason, bass love certain profiles at certain times. So you really need to start profiling your baits. And if they're on a certain profile, 
stick with that. But test them. I mean, sometimes you could be getting them on one profile and suddenly they're not hitting it. You go to something similar size that's a different profile, and they'll be all over it. Hope this helps. Until next time. The bait is a CCB uh, custom baits, single blade pro uh, spinner bait, uh, one fourth ounce head on here. So it's a normal size spinner bait, but it's just got the little blade, which I think is awesome. This is by far my favorite spinner bait now. I mean, I throw the KVDs with the little, you know, the size four wheel blades. But this one is just, this one's awesome. Uh, when I was fishing, I did.